If you've installed the latest version of Linux Mint, Linux Mint 20, and you tried to install Chromium, then you may have noticed that there's a bit of a problem with it. If we go into the software store here, and we check under internet, and we've got the Chromium browser, it tells us here that it's an empty package, which is kind of weird. You know, so then we go into here, we click on install, go ahead and put in our root password. Everything appears to be working correctly, but then there's no way for us to actually launch it. You see there's no launch button that shows up here. Uh, if you actually try starting it from the command line, Chromium browser, you can see H-R-O-M, and I cannot spell. You see, it doesn't, it doesn't launch. There's no command to launch it, nothing like that. Um, same thing if you tried to launch it from your menu. If you look for Chrome, it's not gonna show up. So this is a bug that is currently present in Linux Mint 20. Uh, there is a mention on the Mint forums about how to fix it. Um, but the thing is on the Mint forums, I personally don't find them that helpful because they usually give some crappy advice. Like they talk about installing the snap. You know, this dude here is talking about installing Brave. But if you want to actually use Chromium for whatever reason, recommending that somebody just use another package is crappy advice. So we're not going to uh, read the advice on the forums. There is the actual proper steps that I'm gonna show you here. Uh, written out on the actual Linux Mint website, but that's what videos are for, right? We don't want to watch something if we don't have to and we can just watch a video about how to do it. So I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do that uh, in the terminal really quick. So first thing we wanna do is change directory into Etsy apt preferences.d and what we're going to want to do is create a file in here um, called, I'll just show you right here. This one here, the uh, say, say Ricot 895 chromium beta dot pref. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And of course do it as root because we're in a directory that requires those type of privileges. Um, and then go ahead and vim again as root into that file that you just created. And then go ahead and add this text into it. So you got that right here. Um, and then just go ahead and right quit. And I'll leave all of this in the description so that you guys can just go ahead and copy and paste it really easily. Uh, then we need to go ahead and add that repository that we just created. So you'll do that with this command, sudo add apt repository, PPA, and then the name of the repository that we just created. And then hit enter to continue. So that's gonna do its thing. And then you want to go ahead and do an apt update. Um, oh, and I should also mention, before you do any of this actually, uh, if you have Chromium installed, like that broken package from the command line, or if you installed it through the software store, uh, which is basically just a front end of the command line, make sure you uninstall Chromium before you actually go ahead and do this. So you can do uh, the sudo apt remove purge Chromium browser. You can do that in your terminal as well. but. Uh, once you go ahead and create the PPA and then add it, update it, all that good stuff, then you can go ahead and apt install, sudo apt install Chromium browser, hit yes. And then this is going to install the proper working one to your system. All right, and that's done. So now we actually do have a working Chromium browser. So there you go, quick video, show you guys how to do that. I know 
a lot of y'all probably still want to use the Chromium browser. I personally like to use it so that I can cast videos onto my TV. It's pretty cool, you know, I like to do that. Uh, but be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, share with your friends, enemies, and neutral allies. Have a good day. Peace out.